Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I would sit down super casual with you guys today and do a bookish this or that. I had this idea like because a lot of new templates have been floating around Instagram. I'm sure you have seen them where it's like a bookish this or that. It's like hardcover or paperback and you like circle your answers and then you post a blank template so all of your friends can fill it out. I'm just getting these questions like based off of some templates that I have seen and it's kind of almost like a Q&A, but it's a bookish, this or that. And some of them are easy, some of them are hard. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, okay, the first one is hardcover or paperback. And it's hard because I enjoy reading paperbacks if they're floppy more, but I think that hardcovers hold up better for the long haul and hardcovers release first normally i don't know so that's a hard question but i'm gonna go with paperback on this one okay read outdoors or read indoors i read pretty much indoors most of the time because when i'm outdoors i'm usually somewhere like i don't have a really good spot at my house to read outdoors um and when i take a book to the beach I'm more being at the beach than actually reading. Even though I do enjoy reading outside, I get more reading done and accomplished inside. So I'm gonna go with indoors. Longer books or shorter books? I'm gonna go with shorter books. Young adult or adult? There is one time where I would have said young adult, but obviously it's adult now. Book hoarder or book unhauler? I'm an unhauler. Read it early or binge read late? So I would rather binge read late. Standalone or series? Standalone. More action or more romance? More romance. But I kind of like action too, so maybe more action. Popular books or hidden gems? Hidden gems. Okay, next template. Meet your favorite author or meet your favorite character? I'm going to go with meet my favorite author because I think it would be really cool to, I don't know. <laughs> Why do I, want to, I don't know. I think it would be so cool to meet my favorite character and go to Hogwarts. I don't know. That's a hard question. Um, classics or new releases, new releases. Be a published author or be a published reviewer. Be a published author, but maybe a reviewer. I don't know. Fiction or nonfiction, fiction. Unlimited free books or live inside your favorite book. Oh, wow. Well, I guess I would like to live inside my favorite book if I could choose where I live within that book. Otherwise, unlimited free books. Favorite book as a film or favorite book as a TV series? Um, hmm. Well, my favorite book is The Giver and it's already a movie, a film. So, and I really don't think you could make that a good TV series. So, a film? But I guess I really, the problem with the film is, well, the pro, there's pros and cons to both, but like a film, it's just a one shot thing done over with, but a TV series, lots of books can't really stand on their own as TV series unless it's like a limited TV series because I wouldn't want them to change too much. And I often see them making more changes in TV series than films. So I'm going to go with favorite book as a film. Read in bed or read on the sofa, read in bed, a library or bookstore, bookstore. Although in the summer, I tend to use my library more and online, I use my library more. Not allowed any new books or not allowed to reread, not allowed to reread. Um, buy or borrow, buy, classics or temporaries, contemporaries, one sitting or slow and steady. I would love to do the one sitting books, sci-fi or fantasy. Oh, that one's really hard. Um, I'm gonna go with, oh, it's so hard. I'm gonna go with fantasy, but I could do both, but it has to be like a really good sci-fi or a really good fantasy. Indoor or outdoor, indoor. I already said that, adult and young adult. Print ebook or audiobook? 
print. Um, quiet or background noise? A little bit of background noise. Because that's how I mainly read. Because I mainly read in bed at night. My husband's watching TV. But I have like my AirPods in if I'm listening to an audiobook. Or if the volume is too loud, then it gets too much. And I don't really listen to music. I guess I want like white noise in the background. But if it's like totally silent, I feel like, I don't know, self-conscious or something. So those are some of the easier ones. Now let's jump into the harder ones. Magic earned or magic born hmm I'm trying to think of books that I've read that come with this um, but I'm gonna say magic earned because they have to fight for it whereas if they're born with it they're gonna whine about it like I don't know they're gonna talk about like the hardship of being so special I don't know anyway enemies to lovers or friends to lovers friends to lovers um, hilarious banter or emotional ruin this is probably the hardest one but I'm gonna go with emotional ruin because hilarious banter, like my husband's super funny, so I don't really seek out books to laugh a lot, but to emotionally wreck me, I'll take books for that. Love triangle or insta-love, love triangle. Love triangles are real people. Um, insta-love, I don't really know of that being real, but it could possibly, but I'm just gonna go with love triangles because I've read some really good ones. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any, but keyboard smash fantasy names or all names that start with the same letter this one is really hard because obviously they're probably talking about fantasy and i don't read a lot of fantasy because of this reason you either have the keyboard smash names or you have everybody with the same letter that starts with k and you're like which one is which I don't even like in contemporary stories when there's like a Samantha and a Suzanne and I'm like which one was which so I guess I would take the keyboard smash name because maybe I could start recognizing patterns and then like break it down and like give them a nickname in my head because usually if there's like this long name I usually take like the first couple letters and I'm like oh that's Tay or oh that's Kai or oh that's Ben or you know I start to recognize patterns and kind of give them like nicknames in my head or at least I recognize the names a little bit more as I'm reading but either one of those is like really hard mean parents or dead parents Ooh, mean parents or dead parents um I'm gonna go with mean parents because <sighs> Dead parents, they're just grieving their parents being gone. Mean parents, like, they're away from their parents, but, and we get to hear about their turmoil and emotional ruin. I don't know. Supermodel looks or constantly saying how plain they are. Ah, oh, neither one. <laughs> um... Uh, this trope kills me. I hate it when characters are like, oh my gosh, I just look like everybody else. Like, I have the same, you know, this and the same that, same blonde hair and same blue eyes, and I just don't stand out at all. I just, uh, guys, I can't take it. <sighs> I guess I'll go supermodel looks, but like, I really, really hope that they're not like, oh my God, I'm so hot. And then like every guy that sees them, you're so hot. <sighs> Neither one. I don't want either one, but if I had to pick supermodel looks, I guess. Face on the cover or typography on the cover? Well, there has been some really artistic versions of faces on the cover. I don't like, like if this was a book cover, 
no but sometimes like um the raven cycle series has some really good examples of faces on the covers sometimes it works uh the winners uh trilogy is a really good one where it's like the girl in the dress but she's like looking over her shoulder or things like that there's there's some really good examples but i think i'm gonna go for really pretty typography on the cover um and what else villain turning a little good or the hero turning a little bad i'm gonna go with the hero turning a little bad because i love that but that was the last question for bookish this or that if you want to answer any of these questions please let me know in the comment section down below your answers to some of these specifically like the harder ones which would you pick so let me know down in the comment section down below i hope you enjoy this little like chat sit down hang out bookish this or that video i'm just trying to think of like fun things to sit down and chat with you guys about so if you have any suggestions or requests let me know in the comment section down below and that's all for today's video i'll see you again soon bye